Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel Technical Speaks. In this video, we are going to learn about how we work with arrays in Java. Also, we will cover topics like how we declare, initialize and access array elements with the help of examples. So by definition, an array is a collection of similar types of data. For example, if we want to store the names of 100 people, then we can create an array of the string type that can store 100 names. It will be like string array is equals to new string and inside the square braces 100. So here in this case array cannot store more than 100 names. So through this we can conclude that the number of values in a Java array is always fixed. Next important topic we have is how we can declare an array in Java. So in Java we declare an array like data type square braces array name. Here data type can be any primitive data types like int, char, double, byte or Java objects. And here array name is just an identifier. For example int data here data is an array that can hold values of type int now you might think that how many elements can array hold so to define the number of elements that an array can hold we first need to allocate memory for the array in java for example let declare an array data of int data type like int data now to allocate memory we simply add like data is equals to new int and the size let 10 here you can see the array data can store 10 elements so we can say the size of the length of the array data is 10 now next topic we have is how we can initialize arrays in java so in java we initialize arrays during declaration for example int data is equals to 12 14 5 21 15 here we have an array name data and we initialized it with the values inside the curly braces which are 12 14 5 21 and 15 very important point we should consider here is that you can see we have not provided the size of the array so what will happen here is in this case the java compiler automatically specifies the size by counting the number of elements in the array that is 5 also in the java array each memory location is associated with a number and that number is known as an array index and so that we can also initialize arrays using the index number like first let declare an array int data is equals to new int and inside the braces just pass 5. Now we can initialize the array by index number as data 0 is equals to 12 data 1 is equals to 14 data 2 is equals to 5 data 3 is equals to 21 and data 4 is equals to 15 important points we should keep in mind that indexing of an array always start from zero that is the first element of an array is at index zero here the first element is 12 which is at the index zero and if in the case size of an array is n then the last element of the array will be at index n minus 1. The next and the last very important topic we have about arrays is how we can access elements of an array in Java. So we will see it by two examples. In the first example, we will see how we can access array elements using the index numbers. And in the another example, we will see how we can access array elements using the for loop. For loop will basically iterate through each element of the array. Let's see one by one first by using index number first here we create a class like class main inside it create the main method like public static void main string arcs now we are going to create an array data of int data type. int data is equals to 12 14 5 21 15 so to access each array element just we need to add the print statement like system.out.println inside the braces just pass elements of the add data then add another print statements for the array elements like system.out.println inside the braces first element and then pass the data 
at the zeroth position this will basically get the element which is at the zeroth index similarly for second element pass data 1 for the first index similarly for third element fourth element and the fifth element it will all get the element which is at the corresponding index so let's save it and run open command prompt compile it first and let's run you can see your elements of the array data and then first element 12 second element 14 third element 5 fourth element 21 and last fifth element 15 now let's see an example for accessing the array elements using for loop i am using the same program just here let add for loop to access the array elements before that first let me add a print line statement like system dot out dot print line and inside the presses just i am passing array elements using for loop and now add the for loop like for inside the braces int i is equals to 0 i is smaller than data dot length and then i plus plus then simply print the loop like system dot out dot print ln inside the braces just pass data and index i let's save it and run the program so you can see here add elements using for loop 12 14 5 21 and 15 in this example you might think about the expression which we used that is data dot length so let me clear you this is just a length property of an array we use it to get the size of the array so friends this is how we can access array elements in java in our later videos we will definitely learn new on java topics if you find this video helpful then like this video and if you are new to my channel then subscribe to our channel and for notification of our tech related videos Don't forget to press the bell icon.